Hi everyone, this is Mark Moix from Big Mount Studio. And this week's tip is about disabled buttons. Now here's the situation and here's the problem. Say you have an application and down toward the bottom you have to agree to something before you can click search. Well, take a look at this. Here the button looks like it's enabled, right? But when I click it, nothing happens. When you click this, the button is enabled. And here's the code, it's pretty simple. This is when you click on that switch. And when you turn the switch on, it enables the button by changing the enabled property, is enabled property on the search button. So it's pretty simple. You know, when it's off, it disables the search button. And when it's on, it enables the search button. But when we look at it, you can't really tell if it's enabled or disabled. Apple doesn't do this for you. Not like, you know, creating a desktop application. When you disable a button, it might turn gray and really look disabled for you. But iOS doesn't do this for you. Instead, iOS wants you to handle what it looks like when it's disabled. All right, so how do you do that? Well, I'll show you. Let's go to the storyboard. And we'll click on the button. And for the button, there's this property called state config. What you want to do is you want to change that to disabled. And then now you can change these properties right here. And these properties will take effect when your button is disabled. So maybe for your search button, when it's disabled, maybe it becomes more of a reddish color, like this reddish color right here. And maybe that means disabled in your application. So now if you run it, you see now this is disabled, you can't click on it. And when you turn it on, it switches to enabled. So that's all you have to do. You just basically come into the properties, switch to the disabled state configuration, and then you can change these properties. And notice you can change the font, the color, the shadow color. So it's up to you what disabled looks like for your application. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Consider sharing it with your friends if you want them to know about this tip as well. And if you want to help out the channel, you can submit a translation for the title and the description in your native language. All right, thanks, guys.